transfer data faster than uh, broadband at a rate of uh, at a rate of uh, over 30 megabits per second. The system is non-conventional, non-commercial, renewable, appropriate, alternative, traditional, indigenous, affordable, green, clean, lean, digital, divided, bridging, no logo, low barrier to entry, home brewed, home grown, open source, scalable, abundant, inexpensive, non-threatening communication technology. I have 70 slides which I have to run in three and a half minutes. Yes. This is an old way to transfer data by carrier pigeons. Please note the train. And I always, since I come from a small country, I have always to advocate the advantage of our country. Uh, our rail width, speaking about rail, our rail width per one million uh, people is 30 centimeter per, per one million people. Admittedly, as far as the length of the rails, we are much far behind the United States. As far as the width, we are much better. <laughs> this is also true regarding the one and a half megabits per second per, uh, of ADSL per one million People, we are much better. We have about uh, uh, 25, uh, one and a half, uh, whatever. We are seven, seven times better than the United States as far as uh, the ADSL bandwidth per one million inhabitants. These are another old ways to communicate Pony Express. Mr. Uh, Reuters uh, pioneered moving using uh, pigeons for uh, for uh, commercial communication. David Weitzman from BBNN in 1997 created the RFC 1539 uh, for the IETF uh, using uh, carrier pigeons to transfer data. But in his uh, result, he was having a rate of about 70k per minute. We were able in 2004 to improve the rate much further by using uh, small flash cards which we hang on the, on the legs of pigeon carriers. If you made a calculation, we were able to achieve one and a half megabits per second, much better, much better rate. This is the experiment. We ran it in, a, in our camp, which was the Kinanet Camp 204. Nevertheless, as a, and this is where Pigeon fits at the, at the grand scheme of telecommunication, you see that it's a bit better than 3G. <laughs> but we have problems with, by the way, the audio, can you help me with the audio? The audio. The yes. audio go to the red or to the green? Guy. Green. To the green, okay. Sing it, hum a few bars. The audio? I need the audio for the vulnerability. Okay. Ah. Okay? Problem, pigeons are very vulnerable to all kinds of threats. <laughs> That's a major threat to pigeons. Beware of the dog. Colombe, avec des lancers qui peuvent parfois atteindre jusqu'à 160 km h ben on se doute bien. Very vulnerable technology. <rire> oh hey. <laughs> By the way, when I showed it, somebody said that uh, pigeons has another disadvantage, an ISP never shit on your head, but uh, I was told that I don't know the ISP of some people. Some of the problems are by maniacs. Spring is here, a suffering is here. Life is skittles and life is beer. I think the loveliest time of the year is the spring. I do. Don't you? Of course you do. But there's one thing that makes spring complete for me and makes every Sunday a treat for me. 
All the world seems in tune on a spring afternoon when we're poisoning pigeons in the park. <laughs> Tom Lehrer song from uh, the six, uh, six, uh, 60s. Another issue is uh, packet loss. <laughs> and uh, pigeon, uh, some, some aspects of pigeon were instrumental in uh, resolving the Big Bang, as you know. Nevertheless, because of the vulnerability of uh, pigeons, we moved into another animal, and we had issues where to, what animal to select and to introduce a new technology. Introducing new technology, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. This is the famous Gartner Hype group, and we try to place another mean of telecommunication on the, on, the, on the curve. And in order to use it, the, the innovation and in our breakthrough is using wheels in order to transfer data. Though I must give a, a warning that Australian lawyer patented the wheel in uh, 2001. If you look on this graph, we selected an animal between the nematode and the guppy. And this is a snail. And what we have done, we developed a very important uh, <laughs> mean to transfer data with, uh, with snails. You see, you have the carriage. You put the two, the two DVD, two DVD, 9.4 gigabit. You let the snail go for half an hour. You go about one feet. Nevertheless, it transfers 30 megabits per second for a distance of one feet. I want to thank my brother, Yedidia, who built this wonderful uh, gadget. By the way, uh, at the balcony of the, of, the colony, of the Admiral Building, there is my brother vibrating Bolt's organ, which are displayed there. I invite all of you to go and to see it. I have another 40... 40 hey, hey. Thank you, Dr. Slides, Vardy, we and, and we'd love well, to hear them right uh, now. Uh, not. Uh, thank Dr. you very much. Vardy, thank you so much. Now serving number three. Number three.